Hi everyone, it's Lauren here, back again to share another process video. Um, this is my second video. I'm, I was so excited when I got lots of lovely feedback on my first um, layout that I posted a few days ago. I thought I would pluck the courage up again and do another one for you. So this layout I'm sharing with you today is a 6 by 12 inch layout. Um, and the beautiful products that I'm using are, are some goodies from a Planner Society kit. I think it might be the June subscription. Um, I'm also um, will have a little bit of a dash of some puffy stickers by Coco Vanilla Studio um, thrown in there at the end as well. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it inspires you to use a do a different layout size as opposed to the standard 12 by 12 and um, let me talk you through it. So I've just started by um, cutting down a piece of A4 vellum that was in the kit. It's a really cute little um, palm tree design. I've, I've then fussy cut out of one of the paper bags that the kits come in this beautiful flower design. I'm I've misplaced my fussy cutting scissors, so I've had to use these big bulky ones, which, you know, were a little bit of a struggle. Um, th as you can see, I'm just having a, an awful time of it, but I get there in the end. But I just wanted to add a bit of a contrast to the um, palm trees by using a big feature on the on the you know the base of the page just to help. Um, you know, blend that all together. The photo that you see here is um, a, a lovely group photo of my gorgeous children, nieces and nephews. We're missing a couple in there, but um, it was just such a wonderful photo. We're just over at the house having a barbecue. The kids were all playing around and I just threw them on the couch and said, come on, let's have a photo and got this magical photo that, you know, I'll treasure forever, especially as they're growing up. So I'm just layering up the photo now. I've just used a couple of pieces of different pattern cardstock just to help pop that off the page. And I just thought I'd add an extra little bit of that um, patterned bag that I had fussy cut just up in the top just to help even it all out. Um, I just wanted to, um, you know, sort of layer the photo where I'll stick the photo underneath that fussy cut piece just to help blend it into the background and make it seem a bit seamless. It was perfect because one of the nieces or nephews, all my children, wasn't behind that flower. So it was a nice strategic position and I got to cut Grace's legs off there. But, you know, you can still see her gorgeous face. So here I am just playing around with a few embellishments and, and just adding a few little extra layers just to see what I can, um, you know, help turn it into something a little bit special. Um, the Planner Society have these amazing kits. They come with all sorts of goodies, very much planner focused, but being a scrapbooker at heart, I have to do some layouts with the kits before I end up with the little bits of leftovers in my planner. I know my layouts will last a lot longer than my planners and sometimes my planners with my hectic life get a little bit messy and crazy and you know I don't want to invest those most beautiful products um, without you know making them long lasting on a layout or something that I can see for plenty of time to come. So um, here I am just sticking down now I've, as you can see I've just done my placement um, and now I kind of think yeah I know what I'm doing with this layout and I'm just going to go for it here. Um, I've just used some double-sided adhesive. I use the Express It tape because it's a little bit forgiving and find that it's a bit repositionable for a little while, um, which works for me because I often pick things up or move things around a little bit. Um, and I'm just placing those pieces down as, um, as I like them, just making sure that Everything's stuck down really well so that when I put it into my album, I'm not worried about it slipping or, you know, um, moving around or any of the embellishments coming off. Aren't those photo tabs just the cutest? Each of the Planner Society kits come with these great little photo tabs that coordinate with the, with the um, 
with the kit and I just can't get enough of them. I, I use them for layouts, but as you can see, they, you know, they're perfect for your planner where you can, you know, itemize each of your categories for the month. Um, you know, your to-do list, your shopping, your organization, your health and things like that. But I, they don't often make it into my planner because I've used them all up on my scrapbooking layouts. Um, so here I am just positioning my photo, making sure it's where I want it to be. I'm having a little think now about mm, what kind of heading should I put on? Where should I put my embellishments? I love these little um, post-it note um, planner society girls. I just had to have her in there somewhere. She's um, she's just adorable and I knew that I could do a little bit of journaling on her skirt there just to, you know, um, add a little feature to the layout and, you know, make that make that moment a little bit more um, memorable, um, especially in years to come when we're trying to work out what year that photo was taken. Um, here, I, oh, here I go with some, adding some Cocoa Vanilla Studio. I added that gorgeous flare out of the Free Spirit Collection. And I've also go back and grab some really cute Free Spirit puffy stickers. Um, I wasn't, I when I saw that smile, I knew that it was meant for the layout. Every time I look at these gorgeous faces on these gorgeous kids, it makes me smile. So it's a lovely, simple heading, but gets the message across that highlights all those cute cousins. So here I am at... You know those little art, the dots on the top of the eyes. I always have trouble make working out which way they're meant to go. <laughs> I don't know about you, but sometimes I think was it meant to be upright or was it meant to be on the side? I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, I I fiddled around a little bit, but I think that's how it was meant to go. I think it looks pretty cute anyway. Um, so here I am just finishing off with those extra little embellishments. You see, I've placed the um, flare on. I've used put a the family sticker on top of the tab. I'm using some Ter a Teresa Collins photo tab there. They're cute. I love the little stars. They pack a punch and, you know, really jump off the page. Um, and excellent for layering, excellent for adding a little bit of journaling on. Um, they're very sticky, not forgiving. See, I tried to take it off there and, yep, it's not moving at all. So that other little embellishment that I had ready for there is uh, going to be used for some other special layer. I've just placed that really cute little puffy heart there from that Free Spirit puffy stickers um, in that corner and added another Teresa Collins um, tab there just to finish it off and let me write my journaling. This is my new pen. I'm, I'm giving it a burl. I'm not too sure about it. It's an art line pen. Um, it's a 0.4 and, you know, I'm not too sure about it. I kind of like the 0.1 but... Um, the 0.4 seems to, you know, stand out a little bit more, a little bit, little bit thicker. Good for bordering, as you can see that I'm doing now. Um, so, you know, I'll give it a run for its money and see how it holds up. I hope you like this layout. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell me what you'd like to see me make in the comments. And um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.